Hey, Kurt here with Teach Mom How, coming to you from home, uh, doing another tutorial for you. This is part of a series. In this video, we're going to show you how to add music. You can add any music you'd like using Premiere Pro. This is part of a series on how to edit videos for beginners in Premiere Pro. If you're looking for something on how to edit in your uh, on your phone, you want to use Adobe Premiere Rush. I put the link to a tutorial on that as well in the description. If you already understand this or you're looking for other tips and editing techniques using Premiere Pro, I have other Premiere Pro tutorials, 2020 edition, in the playlist listed in the description. But let's dive in now and let's learn how to add a song or add music to your video using Premiere Pro 2020. All right, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. We've now got our titles in place. Now we're going to show you now we're going to show you how to add music to your final draft of your video. So the first thing you need to do is get the music you want onto your computer. There's several ways to do that. I'm going to show you how to get some free music from YouTube and uh, we'll download it here. So go to YouTube, make sure you're logged into your channel and then click on YouTube, click on your icon, then click on YouTube Studio. That's how you get to the YouTube Studio. From inside the YouTube Studio, what we're looking for is some tools they give us for free music, audio library. And some other resources, maybe I'll show you if you want, comment below if you want some other resources for free, royalty free music. But this is a place you can find some real easy in YouTube. <laughs> Come on, Nani, help me find a good one. No. no. So go through and find the music you want. What kind of mood do you want, Nani? I was thinking, I was kind of thinking like. This one? No. 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 What were you thinking then? Like something like, um, like that goes kind of like a clock for the 24 hours. Oh, yes. Yes, that sounds something. All right, we're going to use this one. Okay, so once it's downloaded, ah, once I, I just click download, once it's downloaded, I like to right click show in Finder. I like to stay organized, so I'm going to open up another Finder window so I like keep my stuff in the same place. File new Finder window. And remember, when we started this project, we made a folder in Documents for this video, 24-hour challenge. Open that folder, click and drag Potato Deal, this song that I'm going to use, into the 24-hour challenge. So now that we've got this, we will put it into our video. Okay. So we come into Premiere, go back to Finder, click and drag the music we want in. And if you're doing this on a PC, it's gonna be slightly different, but it's very similar still. All right, now I gotta put my music in at the start of my video. And this is where you have to decide, are you gonna have music playing the whole time or during parts? Is it gonna fade in and out? You gotta figure this out as you go through your video and do this. So you'll see my music starts right here. A couple seconds in, I'm gonna, trim it so that it starts right at the start of my video okay all right here we go hey guys naughty talks here and today we're doing the 24 hours in my dad's office well, my own okay so we need the music a little softer and we might need naughty a little louder in places so we're going to turn the music down usually it depends on your music but usually around 20 Negative 20 is a good level. Let's see how that sounds. Hi hey guys, Naughty Talks here. And today we're doing the 24 hours in my dad's office. Well, my old, my dad's old office. And here's the stuff we brought in. Here is Hylas. Here is Hylas first. Hyla, come here. So what did you get? I got my choice. Sounds good, I think. You will want to watch this whole video and make sure it sounds good. We're not going to worry about that right now because... We don't want to make you watch us watch the whole video, but just kind of go through, see if there's any spots you want 
music to come back up. Like for example, as you watch your full video with the music, three water bottles, that I do, two for me and some for the kids so they can do it. Cover your ass up. One thing I do is I watch for spots. There might be spots where the music can be full blast, like if I'm not talking. So let me show you how you do that. If you want to make the music full blast, if you want to make it fade in, you use what's called this fade tool. So I click on that and I make a dot and I make another dot. On the second dot, I fade it up to zero decibels or thereabouts. Okay, now my music will fade up. Bears versus bees. The, uh, this now let's suppose that during this, I don't want to hear anything but the music. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my razor tool and I'm going to cut this video clip right here. And I'm going to go to where I want the talking to come back in. Let's say it's right here. I'm going to cut right there. And now I'm going to use my pen tool to make some keyframes, these are called. Click. This is where it's going to start fading. This is where it's going to end the fade and fade back down to negative 20. And now what will happen is you'll have talking with music. Then the music will fade up full blast. There'll be no talking. There'll be just music for a few seconds. And then it will fade back down. Two for me and some for the kids so they can do it. Cover your assets. Nuts, fat, nuts. Bears versus bees. The, uh, this. Uh, Oops, I forgot to do one part. I need my selection tool and I need a fade. By the way, if you don't see this line, it's because you need to make this track taller. Okay, now I can see the audio line. I can click and drag it all the way to negative zero, negative infinity decibels. No audio, just music. It goes, it goes. And the music's going to fade back down and the audio's going to come back up. And then I, got I could also fade the audio in and out if I chose to using my pen tool for talking, making keyframes, and fading it in and out. That's another option. Okay? So play with that. Get your audio standing how you want. Let me show you one other thing that you're going to want to be aware of. At some point, and you may not have the song play the whole way. Let's say I don't want the whole song to play. Let's say that right here I want it to end. I always like to fade it out, almost always. So right here I'll start my fade. A second or two later, I'll have it fade out. So as we're going through this, and then playing. I got my homework because I kind of feel guilty when I don't gets. do my homework. Okay. And then and I'll do that. It. I'll always do that at the end of the show. But if you determine that you want this same song to play the entire time, um, then here's what you do. We're gonna have this same song play the entire time for this video today. Okay. So let's do a save. I haven't saved for a bit. I need my selection tool. And before it starts to fade out, I want to make sure the song ends right there. Okay, then I want to make a copy of this track. Command Z, whoops. Trim that. Then copy this, Command C, and paste Command V. All right. Now I just pasted a copy of that music track into there. Now I need it to, so it sounds somewhat natural. You'll notice there's a lot of music right here. It's loud, okay? I need it to come in somewhere similar. So I need to trim, trim this to somewhere where the waveforms look similar to the ending of the song. And I need to click and drag that there. And then I'm going to put what's called a transition or a cross dissolve right here by right clicking or control click, it's called on the Mac. And I'm going to click apply default transition. That's going to add a one second cross dissolve. Let's see what that sounds like. Using plus, minus, times, and division. Okay, I if we're talking, you can hardly tell that it's transition. And now that song lasts for another length of the song. And then if I get to the end of the song and I need it to still do the same thing, then I would do that again. But right here, I'm going to have to be careful because I got an audio track right here I don't want to go over. So I'm actually going to just click this audio track and move it down here. Okay. Now I can just copy and paste this again. Command copy. Get to the end of that song and paste. Again, I got to have a uh, right click and add the apply the default transition so it will fade. Here it is again. Dotty Heist. This is how much. Okay. Then I come to the end of it. And same thing. 
paste, paste, paste. Now we got to fade this out. So here we're to the end of our show, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to have the song fade full blast after Nani stops talking using our pen tool, make our keyframes, fade the song full blast. Okay. We're going to let the song play full blast until towards the end here. Can okay, make another keyframe with the pen tool and another one just past our text and let it fade out. So here's how the end of ours is going to sound. I'm going crazy. I'm literally going crazy. Now it's going to fade out. Here we go. Okay. Now don't forget to add the transitions. Control click, apply default transition. Everywhere that you had to copy and paste the track to make it longer. All right, that's pretty much it for adding music. Play around with that. Again, all you got to do is get the song you want onto your computer. I showed you one easy way to do that with YouTube's royalty-free music. And um, once you have the song on your computer, you need to import it into Premiere. Put it in an audio track below your audio. Adjust the levels of the the volume levels of the music, how you want it. If you want to fade in and out in places, you use the pen tool to do that. And if you need to use the same song over and over again like I did, you need to cut it, copy and paste, and add a default transition in between. So hopefully that's helpful. In this next video, we're going to show you how to make dissolves and transitions in our video for our final draft. And what that is is like where it fades in at the start, fades out at the end, transitions with a nice dissolve in the in between clips and things like that. So I'll show you that in this next uh, video. So join us there. Hey, I hope you like liked that video. As uh, Jimmy, which Jimmy is it? Jimmy Fallon. I forget which Jimmy. One of the Jimmys always says on his YouTube videos. He always says, if you subscribe to our channel, all kinds of amazing things will happen. So subscribe and let me know what other videos you'd like me to make, what other how-to videos you'd like to make. And if you can teach anything, doesn't have to be technology, if you can teach anything, I would like to partner with you to create more content for Teach Mom How. Have a great day. Thanks.